Hey everyone! Welcome back to Immigration Insights CA. In today's video, we're diving into some big changes in Canadian immigration policies that could impact anyone planning to visit the country. If you're considering coming to Canada, this update is crucial because Canada has recently changed the rules around visitor visas. Let's get into the details of this new approach, how it affects single versus multiple entry visas, and what these changes could mean for your plans. First, let's start with the basics. Canada offers two main types of visitor visas, single entry and multiple entry visas. A multiple entry visa allows travelers to enter and leave Canada as often as needed over a set period, often up to 10 years. On the other hand, a single entry visa is exactly that, one entry to Canada and one exit. If you leave and want to return, you'll need a new visa. But here's the recent change, multiple entry visas are no longer the default. Immigration officers at Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship Canada, IRCC, are now instructed to decide more selectively between single and multiple entry visas. Let's explore the factors that will influence their decisions. Now, when IRCC officers make a decision about which type of visa to issue, they look at four main factors, purpose of visit, financial stability, medical conditions, and other supporting factors. Let's break these down one by one. First, purpose of visit. Immigration officers consider whether the visit is a one-time event, like a conference or a tourist trip, or if you'll be returning frequently, such as visiting close family. If you're only coming for a short-term reason, a single-entry visa might be issued instead of a multiple-entry one. However, if there's a compelling reason for frequent visits, like family in Canada, then a multiple-entry visa might still be an option. Next is the financial aspect. IRCC wants to make sure you have the funds to support multiple trips. If you're financially stable, either through employment or if a financially established family member or employer in Canada is supporting your visit, you're more likely to get a multiple entry visa. But they will look closely at the financial background of both you and your host to see if you can realistically afford repeated trips. Another major consideration is your health. If you're traveling for medical treatment or have a health condition that could worsen over time, IRCC will evaluate whether a single-entry visa is more appropriate. They also want to see proof that you're planning ahead for any potential health-related issues while in Canada, such as holding valid health insurance. Finally, IRCC considers other factors, like your ties to your home country. Do you have a job or family that you're committed to? Have you traveled to Canada before? and did you follow the visa conditions? Officers also check if you've ever been denied a visa, either to Canada or elsewhere, to assess the likelihood that you'll comply with the rules. So, what happens if your visa application is refused? Unfortunately, there's no formal appeal process for a Canadian visa denial. However, you can reapply, but only if there's been a meaningful change in your circumstances since your last application. For example, if you were previously inadmissible due to a criminal record but have since applied for criminal rehabilitation and were approved, that's considered a meaningful change. If you receive a refusal, IRCC keeps detailed notes on each application in the Global Case Management System, or GCMS. These notes can reveal exactly why a decision was made, which can be incredibly valuable if you're planning to reapply. Ordering GCMS notes can give you insight into what went wrong and help you avoid the same issues in the future. And there you have it. The new rules around Canada's visitor visas mean it's more important than ever to prepare your application carefully. Whether you're applying for a single entry or multiple entry visa, make sure you're clear on your purpose, financially prepared, and have any necessary medical plans in place. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up share it with anyone planning a trip to Canada, and hit that subscribe button for more updates on Canadian immigration. Thanks for tuning in to Immigration Insights CA, and we'll see you in the next video.